Hello and welcome to the Tools United video tutorials. I'd like to show you how to search and find tool datasets here. We've got three main possibilities to search for tools on Tools United. The first one is the free text search, then we've got the parametric search and the application search. You'll find the parametric search and the application search uh, on the top toolbar all the time. Let's start with the free text search over here. So I just enter a number and it will find any combination of these six numbers. Like, it doesn't really matter if you have any dashes or commas in between here. So it's a very flexible search. Next, I'm going to show you the parametric search. So here we've categorized the tools according to the Dean 4000 standard. So if I'm now going for a milling cutter with indexable inserts, just for a standard end mill, then um, I'll have my parameters in the middle over here and also a graphic on the side that explains to me the different parameters. So if I'm looking for the cutting diameter over here, it tells me it's A1. Um, also over here, I can read that and uh, say, okay, this should be 32. And then I also want to describe the shank. Um, this has to be done according to the standard. So we've built a little wizard to help you here. Um, so you can just go and say, okay, I want a cylindrical shank. And um, you'll see all the time uh, as I'm defining my tool more and more, the number of results will go down all the time. So now I say I want a weldon shank and uh, then I'll go for 32 millimeters in diameter. And uh, then I'd also like to have a 3D graphic for my tool. And I could define this even more even with these extended options, but I'm fine with this for right now. And now I've got more than 100 hits, so I'm going to use the filters on the left side to say, okay, I want the depth of cut maximum to be between 15 and 15.7 millimeters. And here we go. So next I'm going to show you the application search. In the application search, we really define a machining operation that Tools United is going to suggest tools for. So I'll go for a milling cut again, but this time for solid cutting edges. And then I'll say, I want to do some shouldering. And you'll see on the left side, the parameters, they get highlighted in the graphic on the right side when I hover them. And um, if I go to a specific parameter on the graphic. Um, I can just click this and um, it will open on the left side. So if I now enter a milling width of 10 millimeters, it will be shown over here. And then I've got the cutting depth of 40 millimeters and go for interfering contour is 30 millimeters away. And then I'll also like to have a corner radius of one millimeter. And I'd also like to select a material for this um, operation. So I'll say, I want to either say, let's just use the PMK table here uh, and uh, say, I want um, to cut steel, but I could also go and say, okay, I'm going to go for a specific material. I'll go for a 4140 and um, then I'll left over here. So now I can just open any of these. I'll go for this one. And in the next video, I'm going to show you more about the tool data sheet.